Hey guys, Gus Mitchell here. Today I wanted to talk to you about yard rent and out yards. Uh, it's that time of year for me that I pay my yard rent. Um, yard rent is what you give your farmers in exchange or to sweeten the deal um, for space on their farmland. Traditionally here, uh, yard rent is one case of pints per bee yard. So if you had three yards on a farmer, you'd get three cases of pints and so on. Um, that's not to say if a farmer has a request for something uh, different or at a different time of year that I wouldn't accommodate. It really uh, depends on the farmer. Uh, if they're a great farmer and they treat me great and they're good to the bees, uh, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to to keep them happy. Uh, and that's all my farmers because if if we don't click, we don't jive together, then I just move my bees off because I don't want to be anywhere or have my bees anywhere where they are not wanted. So uh, that brings us to this time of year. Typically, I like to give it uh, this time of year so that they have time to prepare Christmas presents or whatever with it. Um, I think it's a good time and traditionally it's the way I was taught that this is the time of year to give your your yard rent. Um, as I said, some bee keep, some farmers rather uh, like a little beeswax or, or something else thrown in. Some of them like a little comb in there. Uh, some of them don't. Some of them want to mix and I, I just try to accommodate those guys because they accommodate me. So as I said, yard rent is um, kind of a sweetener to the deal, a thank you at the end of the year. Uh, farmers, of course, do um, receive increased yield from pollination of the bees. It's, a, um, it's good for everybody. So uh, this time of year, we, we give them their honey and thank them for uh, hosting our colonies. Uh, it's also a good time to approach your farmers about new yards, uh, other possible spots that they may want you to put bees. Um, so yeah, it's, a, it's an important gesture and time of year, you know. Uh, it's something you really wanna make time for. You wanna, you wanna do it nicely, you know. You see this uh, paper towel and alcohol. I, I personally wipe down every jar. I make sure there's no sticky. Everything's really pretty and nice. I, I'll write a, a little message or something on there and stamp it, um, thank them for it, let them know what's in the box if, if they don't get uh, just straight summer honey, which is what most of them prefer, a really light uh, honey. You know, some of them they'll get, uh, I'll do half light, half comb, or uh, some mix of fall in there, things like that. Some of them will request a little hot honey and that's no problem, we'll give them some hot honey, but um, a lot of my farmers are older and they don't particularly like spicy stuff, but um, that's what I'm doing. And I just wanted to show you guys because it's such an important thing that we, we do as beekeepers, especially beekeepers that uh, operate with multiple out yards. So not a whole lot to say on the subject other than uh, give them your best, make sure it looks nice. Traditionally, we give one case of pints per bee yard in this area. So um, that's something that may be different where you're at. You know, you kind of got to fill it out. But if you're a beekeeper and you're growing and you're in an area where you don't really know what people are giving, or maybe you have some farmers that want more from you um, than you're comfortable with or something, you know, uh, this can be a guide for you. Uh, this is a very rich area with bees, so there, there's a lot of beekeepers coming in here, a lot of commercial guys come in here for the summer. Uh, there's lots of stationary beekeepers uh, like myself and uh, you know that maybe run uh, one to a few hundred colonies, um, hobby beekeepers and, and things like that. So uh, we don't really go by the size of the yard. I typically run you know a little over 30 some in a yard. Um, I have buddies, they run 60, you know, but they're going to give the same yard rent. Uh, so 
Try to have a good relationship with your farmers. It's very important. Uh, give them your best. Um, and now is a great time to approach them about those out yards. I will be making um, some videos showing how I select areas, uh, what I'm looking for, how I'll approach a farmer, um, all that stuff on a acquiring out yards. So I hope you got something out of this and thanks for watching.